Hello guys, so this is going to be all about my conch piercing and this is way way overdone. I had this done at the beginning of September and it is currently um, nearing the end of April. Well it's three weeks from the end of April, no not three weeks from the end of April, but two weeks, whatever, either way we're in the end of April. So it's been some time, um, this wasn't the easiest heel I've ever had. Um, so I'm going to explain the situation and obviously things that happen which I ended up kind of neglecting the piercing but it was out of my control anyway. So first off, um, what I'll do is I'll link down below the video because I did a video of like the pain and everything like that because if I'm being honest I can't remember if it hurt or anything like that. Um, also I go through sort of like the Covid regulations and stuff because I did get that done during Covid well, obviously because... Like, yeah, whatever anyway <laughs> so this has been a bitch to heal so um i think i did do a video where i mentioned it in a vlog how i had to change this piercing it so if you don't know what a conch piercing is it's this one here not sure if you can see that but it's that there so um i did have troubles for it so after about a month um this is this honestly if you want a conch person i don't recommend it unless you unless you're willing to like work with it because it for me it's the hardest person i've healed like the hardest one this is like i won't get this as your first person if you've got no piercings whatsoever this is definitely not the first person but anyway so it was getting irritated now with me um at the time i still haven't got a ring for it um People do find it a bit odd when I tell them, but basically, um, I find that rings work a lot better with me than a bar. I tend to get a lot more um, bumps with a bar. Um, I don't know why. It's a bit strange, I know. Um, but I really wanted to change it to a ring, but I didn't have a ring that was obviously wide enough for a conch, and I didn't have any pliers because I have a load of hoops. I haven't got one in my cartilage for my cartilage piercings. Um, but obviously they're not wide enough to obviously fit, you know, on a conch piercing. So um, what I did is, because I thought it may be a bit irritated because the bar was pretty big. Um, obviously to accommodate the swelling, but like after a month, obviously the swelling went down pretty well, whatever. So I had to change it early. So I changed it early to a smaller bar and I found that helped. Um, but I do still get bumps now and again and as I said I think I've done what because I because it was the same with my cartilage person where I'd get quite a few bumps but as soon as I switch to get in a ring um, in my cartilage and that's all I wear now is rings if I do wear a stud it's only for like a short amount of time and I prefer rings in the cartilage anyway I mean you can't really see it that much because of my hair but I'm going to get I've booked a haircut um, or oh, haircut slash hair shave <laughs> um next month but anyway off that topic we're talking about my piercing um so i find that rings just are a lot better for me i don't know why it's weird if a piercer could like comment down below why a ring is better i don't know if it's because i have more room i mean people say a ring it's more irritated irritate the irritate the piercing because obviously it moves a lot more but i just find that it doesn't like it just gets rid of bumps so as my one thing I need to remember is to get a ring for this conch but it does flare up quite a bit which I mean it's one of those piercings that flares up I know I think it doesn't help the fact that I, I'm gonna say this now is that I wear earphones I do prefer headphones I found when I was wearing headphones it was fine because I can, can p position the cuff so it wasn't irritating the actual piercing and it was like it felt but it fit fitted perfectly over it but because obviously money and stuff currently um i've been wearing earphones for that. i know poundland do headphones as well but you know you know they're not gonna be like so you, like you know for example like school candy where it's got like a cuff bit you know what headphones look like anyway and you know, i'm just not very good at explaining things so i will say that on that um, but that is probably not helping it and that's probably why it flares up but as I said I really need to I really need to get a ring for this or I think my flatmate does have um some pliers or just get one of my horseshoe um fireballs and just widen it and change it to that 
or yeah it's a weird phenomena where um rings kind of just get rid of like piercing bumps for me so when it came to cleaning it I was cleaning it twice first I was cleaning it twice a day and then it started to get irritated so I only cleaned it once a day and that helped as well and obviously the situation where I ended up being homeless it was it's madness because I, I hadn't cleaned it at all well I kind of was what I was doing is because obviously I didn't have anything with me to clean it I was just kind of just using water which obviously isn't you know the most you know cleanest thing well water is clean you know what i mean like is it wasn't like saline solution or anything so i'm surprised it didn't get any f infections or anything but it was actually all right with that but i was pretty lucky um obviously by then i have had had it so by then i had had it for four months so technically it was kind of healed healed but wasn't healed i know there's kind of arguments of when it's fully healed and stuff because the person heals from the outside first and then the inside i think so it may look healed on the outside but it might not be fully healed on the inside anyway so but i it was still kind of early on i'm surprised i didn't have an infection but you know all that happened it's again it's still in my ear but it as i said it does flare up i do really want to change the ring for it but it has been annoying i don't know how annoying this is so i have my navel piercing pit, pit. i want that redone but i'm scared i'm scared that it's gonna hurt because i've got a lot of scar tissue down there and um, that one didn't heal at all so i had problems with that one but this one is just like it is healed enough for me to change it but i wouldn't like leave it out for more than like five minutes because a lot of people think it would heal up um but yeah so i have been changing it not that often just because it is it depends on the size of the bars that i do have and i don't have that many bars because all the bars that i have a lot of them are just initial piercings from not my cartilage and whatnot and bars that have had like lay, laying around well not literally laying around laying around but you know ones from piercings i've had in the past like a nipple piercing and stuff so yeah so i just need to literally get a ring for this and then i think then oh, it's gonna stop flaring up but i have heard that the conch person can flare up now and again anyway so yeah i might do an update for that one but i feel that i need to do this video because i always do like well i do on my old channel anyway um like updates on my piercings and stuff and this has been a while and i keep forgetting to do it and i was just sitting here uploading the video and i was like oh my god i might as well just film this video now and we'll get it over and done with so yeah that is my experience with my conch piercing so i would say obviously for me it had a rough start because of not being able to kind of clean it and everything properly um but it even before then it is a person that i did have trouble with and is it flaring up and everything like that and like piercing bumps and stuff it like i don't like to change my piercings early but the bump was massive like it was the biggest bump i've ever had on a person so i had to kind of change it because it was just getting bigger and bigger but as soon as i changed it to the smaller bar it it, it kind of shrunk um but yeah for me as i said i don't know why heaps work better for me I don't know maybe if you're a person let me know but as I said don't get this as a first person unless you're really really committed it's one of those persons where I recommend either if you're really you've had a definitely if you've had a person before or you're committed to kind of looking after it and stuff like that obviously for me it was a bit hard um <laughs> later on in the healing process but I still have it and I've not had any infections or anything the only issues I do have is it does flare up from now from now and again so it's definitely not like a smooth sailing person so well for me anyway because some people say their cartilage flares up now and again but i've not had no issues with my cartilage and um, but yeah that is it for this video so bye guys